Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I just woke up, it is Sunday currently, and I work today, but then I don't work all of next week. And these are the three books that I'm currently starting with. Started Get a Life of Chloe Brown, and I'm maybe 12 pages into this. It's really good so far, especially on audiobook. I really like the narrator. Um, I'm looking for a letter read, uh, <laughs> because it's the last few books I've been reading have been really heavy. I also started last night Measuring Up, which is a graphic novel, and I'm about 80 pages in, and I'm hoping to finish this one today for sure. And then I just got the audiobook of Finding Langston. So this is another short one. Hi everyone, let's catch up. Yesterday I finished Measuring Up by Lily Lamont and Anne Zhu. I gave this three stars. I think what I settled on is this was missing a little bit of something uh, in the emotional department. I didn't really feel any which way about what happened, but I did enjoy the art and I would read more by this author and this illustrator. Since then, I've gotten maybe a hundred pages into Get a Life Chloe Brown. I'm really enjoying this so far. It is really darling, really lovely, really charming, and the humor is landing with me, which I'm really happy with. It's got this like very sarcastic humor about it. I think I just get on with British humor, so I'm liking that. And then the other book that I started, I'm on page 40 of Finding Langston. And this is a middle grade book, a historical fiction, and it's set in the 1940s about the Great Migration and we're following a character from Alabama and his dad moving to Chicago and it's about him discovering the library basically and reading so that's lovely. The only other thing that I started and I'm only like 10 pages into is this ginormous I guess this would be like graphic nonfiction. it's not really a memoir but anyway this is Kent State um, I've been really looking forward to this one and I'm enjoying it so far. As for what I have on deck as things that I'm going to read next, this pile here. So one of them is I want to reread This Is Your Time by Ruby Bridges and I want to listen to it because I have the audiobook from um, Libra FM and I have the physical copy here so I want to read and listen and there's pictures in here as well. I just want to look over this again. I looked at it when I was at work. Another middle grade book that I'm excited about is Before the Ever After. I also have this on audiobook from Libra FM and it's due time that I listened to it. This came out in like September and I've been looking forward to it and it's also in verse which I'm looking forward to. And then the last one that I have to show you is Seance Tea Party which is another graphic novel. This is another middle grade one as well um, and I'm really looking forward to this one. I just want something sweet and cute and uplifting and I hope that the story delivers in here because I know that I like the art. It's a very gloomy day outside. We did some errands. We went to Trader Joe's. We're just laying around like Sam is here. Today is the blessed day. This random Ikea table from four years ago is leaving my house. Hi, yes, I just put on my cute headband so I could film the clip. It is currently the day after my last clip, I think, and I just finished Kent State for Dead in Ohio by Durf Bechter. Yeah, this was amazing. I loved every second of it. It felt like I was back in college taking a history class and that is like one of the best feelings to me. This obviously looks into the Kent State shootings and it basically takes a lot of research and historical information that has been collected over many um, decades to tell us the story of what happened. It mostly focuses on the few days before leading up to this and it also follows the students who were killed. I probably spent more time reading the end notes and then like using that as a jumping off point to like look stuff up on the internet. Yeah, it was just awesome. I think what I loved most about it is how it took all of these misconceptions and it took all of this, you know, like political grandstanding. He basically debunks so much of that, just shows you what is a lie. And also the depiction of Richard Nixon in this is also just amazing. I definitely recommend that you read it. I don't know why it took me so long. It's literally been on my cart for forever. Hello. Last night before bed, I finished Finding Langston and I ended up reading it three and a half stars. It was a little bit too short because right when I felt like I was getting to know the characters and how he's bonding and making relationships, it kind of ended abruptly. I feel like if it had been like 50 or 75 more pages um, and focused on like his developing friendships and his developing bond with his dad, I would have liked it a little bit more. But it is really nice and I love the parts about him going to the library and him showing his dad the library. So those parts were really heartwarming. And then this morning I started 
seance tea party which is so cute so far i am like 50 pages in so i'm gonna read this now um and i'm still making my way through get a life for chloe brown i listened to that one on my walk this morning hello welcome to is it day four now <laughs> i've lost track i wanted to quickly catch you up because i finished one more book i finished a seance tea party i think i'm missing a little bit of subtlety and emotional connection to some of the graphic novels that i've been reading lately kids graphic novels usually it's really easy for kids graphic novels to like really get me in the heart and i feel like i haven't really had that experience in the past month or so but still really cute and still would recommend especially if you like ghosty spooky vibes this would be a perfect light hard to read in october for sure i also started show me a sign by Anne claire lazotte and this is a middle grade book historical fiction i've heard so much buzzy stuff about it this year i'm um, definitely one i'm not going to finish before the end of the year this will carry over to my new year and one of my goals is to read a few more newberry contenders so definitely this book will satisfy that goal so far i'm really enjoying it it seems very true to the time i mostly read this in the car today as we were going to um hike we were originally going to snowshoe but we ended up when we got there we realized we didn't need to bring the snowshoe stuff and we could just walk up and just be careful we slid a little bit coming down but it was better not to bring the snowshoes which are kind of heavy and it was really quite fun it was a really sunny day which is great i actually got hot while i was out there in like 25 degrees and we saw a completely frozen over pond lake thing <laughs> off you go <laughs> almost got you you didn't fall, that's right. Were you recording it? Yes. I got it. I also have other updates to show you and I'll show you kind of some background b-roll clips of that process but we finally built that bookshelf that I was saying I wanted a piece of furniture um, on the corner of our bedroom to put knickknacks and the humidifier on and that we only had a random Ikea table so now that's been built let me show you the other rooms because they're literal messes we also bought a corner desk that's gonna go in this room so this room has been like taken apart <laughs> there's all of the books from the bookshelf we have moved Sam over so now he's on the left instead of the right and we just have to build that and then put all of this stuff away. That is all of the updates that I have for you. The only other thing is that I'm still making my way through Get a Life Chloe Brown and I'm 170-ish pages so I'm like halfway done. Hi everyone, welcome. Um, first I wanted to show you. I am really happy by how this is looking right now. It is looking pretty empty and it is usually packed full. So I've definitely been getting to a lot of things in that it's making me happy. All right, here's my little stack. So last night I finished Get a Life Chloe Brown and I really did enjoy it. This was kind of more steamy than I usually read when it comes to romance books, but I really enjoyed it because it was really charming, really lovely. I liked the humor in it and I did believe in the chemistry of the main characters. It was honestly something that I needed. And then last night I also finished um, This Is Your Time by Ruby Bridges. I listened to the audiobook. Yeah, this is beautiful. If you have any children in your life, this is something that I would definitely recommend that you give to them because it is literally written for children. She writes it to the young peacemakers of the world. I think this is so powerful and a great way to start discussions with children. You know that I'm reading Show Me a Sign. I didn't read any of this last night because I was working on Get a Life Chloe Brown, but that's what I'm going to mostly focus on today. And then to Two things that are next after that is Real Life by Brandon Taylor, which the audiobook finally came in on Libby, so I'm ready to listen and read. I'm super excited about that. I feel like it's going to be a good one. And then finally, another audiobook that I am going to start soon is Five Days at Memorial. That one is a nonfiction book, and it's longer, so we'll see how that goes. Update on the room. Here's the, uh, the new corner desk. The bookshelf is back, but all the stuff on the ground, it needs to be picked up. I think it's time to sign off on this vlog. I go back to work tomorrow, so I don't know how much more I'm going to finish before then, but I'll just leave you off with what I'm working on. So I'm only like 60 pages into this, and it's really good so far. I'm about to start this and this. I started these two yesterday, and I'm about 5% into both of them, but haven't made that much headway. So you can look forward to me wrapping these up eventually. Thank you so much for watching my vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.